What's up, everybody? Welcome to week six. We're looking at part two of the American Revolution. Uh, we're going to go right into Schweikart, uh, chapter three, which is uh, Colonies No More. Uh, be uh, six, 1763 to uh, six, 1783. And we have another little uh, piece for you to read uh, by Jerry Carino called The Bloody Shrapnel Discovered at Monmouth Battlefield. First of its kind, as well as part two of Rebels and Redcoats, which is the world turned upside down, which is about 49 minutes. I want you to watch that as well, too. As well as dis discussion six. Uh, once you finish that up, we're going to be on to quiz number two. So make sure that you do the reading first, you watch the assignment, and then we go into the quiz. So... Uh, so far, we're pretty good as far as getting back to me on your um, your topics. I'd like to have some more people you know, email me this week if you're thinking of something or if you're like, I have no idea what I want to do. I get that email a lot, too. Like, I have no idea what I want my final project to be. So feel free to contact me with that as well, too. So, uh, yeah, so this week we'll finish up with that. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the last discussion question. Uh, they're they're going to get a little weird, get a little out there because, you know, I think that, uh, you know, this is something, a larger picture, I'm looking at history as there are many sources and, you know, we take for granted a lot of those. Uh, we, especially us hoity-toities here in academia, us pro professors, you know, we focus on primary and secondary sources and, um, you know, to, last week we looked at the merits of you know, comedy, like, can you look at a comedy series, which is, you know, definitely not safe for work, and can you learn something from it, and, um, you know, I personally feel that way, and if you don't, that's fine, um, you know, hopefully you pull something away from that as well, too, so there are many sources out there that I feel that uh, yeah, academics will turn their nose up at, and I'm not saying that drunk history is something you should have cited on your, your work, but I am saying that uh, this is the age of information and things are changing and access to information is changing and some of it is really good and I can pull up anything anywhere and there's a lot of content creators uh, hopefully like you that are going to start having videos on YouTube for people to kind of look at and learn from and the other side is anyone can post anything which is terrifying so um, yeah so we need to discern that. We need to make sure that we're looking at our sources. And, you know, once we watch a funny video, we can go back and actually read about these characters and see if anything is, is any validity to that. And I think you guys did a really good job with that. I think we pulled apart a lot of, you watched it, had a good laugh, and then looked back and said, oh, well, there actually is something here. So you can always pull something away. So hopefully you can pull away more than others. But... Anyway, I digress. So we're going to finish up with the American Revolution here and go into the, our fledgling country and look at that as well, too. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Uh, if you have any topics that you want to discuss, let me know as well. And again, like I mentioned, if you don't have a topic, that's fine, too. Contact me as well, too. So anyway, uh, don't forget that quiz. Get that quiz done. And uh, I'll talk to you later.